Is the 7.62 by 39 actually that much better of a cartridge than the standard 5.56? Well, let's go ahead and find out in today's video. There's been an ongoing debate as to whether the 7.62 by 39 is actually a better cartridge than the 5.56. I don't want to answer it once and for all today, but I do want to see which cartridge penetrates steel better. To do this, I'll be shooting at mild steel plates ranging from quarter inch all the way up to one inch. Whichever one penetrates the deepest will be crowned the winner. In terms of rifles, we'll be shooting apples to apples today. Or should I say bananas to bananas? <laughs> But in all seriousness, both of these rifles have 16 inch barrels, so we should have a really fair comparison. This is the ammo that I'll be using in today's video along with the specs. For those of you who aren't aware of the size difference between these cartridges, here's a 5.56 which has the same dimensions as a 223, and here's a 7.62 by 39. If we stack them up side by side, you can see that both of the cartridges are approximately the same height. However, the 7.62 by 39 is a wider case, which means that it has more case capacity. But it is shooting a bullet that's over twice the weight of the 5.56. So this means that it's going much slower, but it does have more energy. So basically, the real question of today's video is whether or not energy can beat out velocity. So how's about we get this testing started off with a quarter inch mild steel plate? I don't think that either cartridge should have an issue penetrating this quarter inch steel plate, although the low velocity of that 7.62 by 39 kind of does scare me a little. Let's go ahead and find out. So which rifle should we start the testing off with? Good choice, good choice. Basically clean as a whistle. That is pretty much the cleanest hole I've ever seen, which is shocking. Based on previous testing, I'm almost 100% positive that the 5.56 is going to go straight through, but I've never tested it out of a 16 inch barrel, so we'll see how this affects penetration. Well, unfortunately, I guess I'm just too good of a shot because that last shot was right on top of one of the other ones from the previous tests. I think we know that the 5.56 is going to go straight through the plate, but just for you guys, I'll go ahead and shoot it again. Back to the truck. Let's see if that one did any better. I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty nervous I was gonna hit that same group, but it looks like I made a solid hit right above it, and it penetrated straight through as expected. Quarter inch is all fine and dandy, but you already know that we need to step it up to a bigger plate to really test these cartridges. So how's about we do that with this 3 8 inch plate? This is where we really start separating the boys from the men, so let's see if either of these cartridges have a chance. Now that is a serious bulge right there, but because of it, we already know it didn't penetrate the full way. Still though, pretty good performance. If you're enjoying this testing so far, I'd sure appreciate if you snipe that like button. I'd also recommend that you go and check out my website, link in the description below. Right now I'm thinking that the 5.56 is gonna do a little better, but let's go back to the truck and see. That's a pretty cool little dome we got going on there, but we already know because of that that we did not fully penetrate the plate. Upon initial inspection, however, it does appear that it penetrated deeper than the 7.62 by 39. But how's about we go back to the bench and see if that was actually the case? Unfortunately, out of the 16 inch barrels at least, neither one of these cartridges was man enough to get to the half inch plate. So unfortunate. I'm telling you guys right now that the 5.56 definitely penetrated way deeper than the 7.62 by 39. But what's the actual difference? I think you know what time it is. That's right, it's time to grind. <laughs> Well, they couldn't get too much cleaner than this, and let me tell you something, it is not looking good for the AK. That's about the shallowest penetration I've ever seen. But the show must go on. First up, we got the 5.56. Looks like we got 0.395 inches. That is literally thicker than the 0.375 inch plate, so it was on the verge of going through had it not been for the deformation that created the bulge on the back of the plate. And now it's time for the moment of truth, the good old 7.62 by 39. Whew, looks like we got 0.216 inches. I can't do those calculations off the top of my head, but that's about half of the penetration that the 5.56 got. Now, I'm not trying to stir up any controversy by picking which cartridge is actually the better one, but after running some quick calculations, I found that the 7.62 by 39 only penetrated 54.6% the depth of the 5.56, meaning that when it comes to mild steel penetration, the 5.56 definitely has the upper hand. I thought that since the 7.62 by 39 was putting out more energy than the 5.56, it might have a chance of penetrating the steel a little bit deeper. But velocity was definitely the winner of today's video. 
If you want to see more steel penetration testing like this, let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks so much for watching today's video, and remember, don't let ballistics drive you bananas.